Hey everybody, this is Kelly of Rojo Chief Clothing. And as you see right here, this is my Instagram. And I'm going to click on my link tree. That's going to send you to all of my links. Anchor.fm, the YouTube channel that you already know about. My online clothing store. And my Facebook page, so you can follow me. Alright, so Anchor.fm, that's my podcast. So, stories or news that... I'm not going to post on YouTube. You can find them on my podcast and you can listen to them on Spotify and also on Breaker and other, you know, podcasts. Okay. Then, as you may or may not know, this is my online clothing store where you can find fashions on here for for, uh, men, women, Kids and babies. So, let's get ready for the show. Hey everybody, this is Kelly of Rojo Chief Clothing. And today, I have this clip from A No Kai, The One. And I found this from uh, Wanagi had posted a clip from her video. And I really like that clip that he posted. So, I decided to subscribe to her channel. And this was a very key point right here what she said and uh, it basically shows the lies of how they try to make it seem as though freedmen are freedmen because they did not have any blood from an indigenous person or indigenous ancestors but that's the furthest from being um, reality Um, the reality is is that a lot of freedmen were not African folks that was enslaved by American Indians. Not saying that, you know, um, African people, people of African descent, whether they were melanated or not, that they weren't enslaved by American Indian people. That's not what I'm saying. But in a lot of the cases, especially when it was copper tone people, that a lot of the cases it wasn't people that were slaves because a lot of the freedmen were not, enslaved people at all basically they wasn't enslaved a lot of freemen were not enslaved people or people that was basically indentured servants that was bonded out for a certain amount of time okay so they weren't even that in a lot of these cases so okay so let's look at this and so she says Henry Johnson which is her third great-grandfather who was born June 18th 62 in Mississippi his death is unknown but on ancestry when you do a search on doll's final roles she saw that her ancestor her three times great grandfather they listed him as being full-blooded Choctaw by blood but then they have his son Johnny Johnson which is her great great grandfather who was born March 18th March 1888 in Mississippi and died 1945 in Mississippi they have him listed as a Choctaw freedman now what they teach our people what I remember what they taught me in school when they did mention the freedmen they try to make it seem as though the freedmen were people of African descent only that were slaves that was owned by the so-called five civilized tribes which consisted of the Choctaw, the Cherokee, the Chickasaw, the Seminole, and I know it's another tribe, but I can't think of it right now. But anyways, so basically, long story short, the point of the matter is, is that she's basically going to prove how being a freeman or being considered as a freeman does not mean that your ancestors were of African descent and were slaves owned by a so-called Native American, which we know Native American is a erroneous term. It's the wrong term, but the correct term is American Indian because anybody could be Native if they're born here on the American uh, continent. Okay, so in that sense, they could be Native, um, but they cannot be an Aborigine only a person who have aboriginal blood whose ancestors were here basically since almost the beginning of time could be considered as aborigine 
Okay. So anyways, let's listen to what she has to say. And if you wanted to see this this clip on my Instagram, it's called a Nokai, the one, reclassification of her full blood Choctaw great great grandpa. To Oklahoma to be on a reservation and left his son behind. This is what this is what I said in the original video. This is happening all the time. Okay. Left his son behind in Mississippi, okay, to be with his friend, whatever, I don't know how that went. Okay, maybe it was, uh, as we know, the Trail of Tears was not an easy route to get to Oklahoma. Okay. Um, so he was, so my second great-grandfather, the son of my third great-grandfather, who's shown as, who's Henry Johnson, shown as full Choctaw, he was a freedman Choctaw. He's a Mississippi Choctaw freedman. Why was he a freedman? Was he a slave? No. He's the son of a full-blooded Choctaw person. Why would he be considered a freedman if he was the son, the direct descendant of a full... Because he was a free-roaming indigenous person. He was free-roaming in Mississippi outside of the Oklahoma Reservation. That's why. Okay? So all these people talking about how I look, the color of my... If you like this video, please give me a like. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I drop a new video. And please share it as well, too. Thanks.